you today. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. And this bracelet is a little variation on this bracelet. Uh, this bracelet we made last week and this was an absolute beginner's project uh, and this will be two this will be just a little different and uh, maybe just a little harder but every beginner should be able to do this so let's start so the materials you will need for this project for this project you will need some fine line and i'm using a 0.10 fine line uh, I like that one because it's a little bit thicker. Uh, you can also use uh, uh, another thicker thread uh, that you have, but I recommend fine line because we're working with Swarovskis and Swarovskis are uh, easily to break your thread because they're crystal and they can cut your thread. So I recommend fine line. We're going to use seed beads. I'm going to use 11 O seed beads in dark bronze and I'm going to use copper lined alabaster seed beads and these are an 8-0 so 8-0 seed beads and 11-0 seed beads we're going to use Swarovski bicones and these are 4 mm so uh, 7 4 mm bicones these are 8 mm pearls and I'm just using regular pearls of course you can use the Swarovski ones those are always more beautiful than uh, normal pearls but I'm just using regular pearls so we're going to use 8 8 mm pearls. We're going to use some super duos. Don't confuse these with twin beads. Twin beads won't fit. So no twin beads, super duos. Uh, the twin beads and uh, the super duos are a little different in price. Super duos are uh, just a little uh, bit more expensive, but you will need under 5 grams for this project. So um, you won't. Um, have to pay a lot of money to make this bracelet. So super duos and I'm going to use two needles in size 12. You will also need a clasp and two rings and a scissor to cut your fine line with. Um, you can't cut this with every scissor. I happen to have this scissor that is very sharp so I can cut my fine line with it but uh, you can also cut it with a wire cutter uh, your fine line because it is very hard material. I wanted to talk about the clasp that you're going to need and the rings. I'm using 5 mm rings and I'm just using a simple clasp. I'm going to show you on this bracelet. <clears throat> you see that um, if I make my bracelet in this way, my um, uh, clasp is flat and I like it that way. I'm going to show you when I um, hook it, so when I attach it to the ring, it lays in this direction. I like it in that way because I'm going to show you an example on my bracelet I'm wearing. In this way my loop is uh, like this and I don't like that. I like it to be flat. I think that looks prettier. So it's just what you like but I'm going to show you how to make it in this way. Make sure that the loop of your clasp is in the same direction as that it is on your uh, bottom. So that you uh, know for sure that you will make the bracelet in the same way as I did. Because if your loop happens to be on the other side, or if it is twisted, you have to uh, pay attention to that because you will or need to add another, um, another uh, ring, or you will need uh, to add a bigger loop on the end so that you just need one ring and can attach it to the other side. So I'm going to show you that later how you will need to do that. Thread your two needles with about two arm spans of fire line. We're going to pick up with one needle five 11 O seed beads. Like this and slide them down. Now we're going to pick up one 8 O seed bead and we're going to crisscross in it. So I'm going to take it on the thread uh, just underneath my needle on one side and with my other needle I'm going through it in the opposite side and pull. So I'm going to slide them all the way down and now you can see we have a little loop. This is the loop that we're going to attach the clasp on. Now on both needles pick up three 8 o seed beads Like this 
and slide them down. Now we're going to pick up one pearl and we're going to crisscross in it. Just, so just like we did before, slide it a little bit down and go through it with the other needle on the opposite side and pull. Like this and arrange the beads a little bit so that they lay um, in a good way. And now on both needles again we're going to pick up three 8-0 seed beads. Like this and slide them down. And I'm just, when I say slide them down, I'm just uh, pushing them off uh, of my needles. Then again we're going to pick up one 8 seed bead and we're going to crisscross in it. And pull. Now on both needles I'm going to pick up one 11 -0. And on both needles I'm going to pick up two super duos and make sure that the, the holes are not clogged because you can get in trouble with that later. And then on both needles pick up one 11 -0 seed bead and slide them down. And now we're going to pick up on one needle one 8 and we're going to crisscross in it. And pull. Like this. Now I'm going to zoom in for those who like to see it uh, a little bit better on the work. I'm going to pick up and I'm going to just start with the same uh, sequence we did before because this is just the sequence we're going to repeat all the way. So I'm going to start with this seed bead now. So this is that is this seed bead. And I'm going to pick up three <coughs> sorry 8 O seed beads on each needle and slide them down. And now I'm going to pick up one pearl and I'm going to crisscross on it. Like this. And now on both needles we're going to pick up three 8 0 seed beads like this and slide them down. And now on one needle we're going to pick up one 8 0 seed bead <coughs> and we're going to crisscross in it. Like this. And now on both needles we're going to pick up one 11 0 seed bead. And on both needles we're going to pick up two super duos and make sure that the holes are not clogged. And now on both needles we're going to pick up one 11 0 seed bead and slide them down. And now on one needle we're going to pick up one 8 0 and we're going to crisscross in it and pull. Like this. And now you can see this is what the design looks like. Now we're going to do this until you have all your pearls on and then I'm coming back to you. Now I'm at the end of the bracelet and I'm finishing it with a pearl. So I'm ending with one pearl. And I'm going to flip my work around. With one needle we're going to pick up five seed beads. Like this. And now we're going into the same 8-0 that we're coming out of. And pull. Like this. 
When you have your clasp on the other side, so I'm using a clasp in this fashion, it has a hole here and in the same direction it has the hole of the clasp. Then you ha don't have to do anything else. If you have that your hole is twisted, you want to um, make a bigger loop so that you can just hook the clasp on your loop. So if you have a clasp that is different, please make a bigger loop. So I think I suggest that you will use te about 10. See if your clasp fits in that loop and then go on uh, like we are going to do now. You're going to pick up your left needle, so the other needle, and we're going to reinforce this loop by going through all the beads. And through the 8 0 and pull. Now we're going to pull this tight. Make sure that all of your bracelet uh, is tight. So I'm going to, like we did with the previous one, we're going to push the beads backwards and then we're going to pull on our loop. Like this. Now we're going to take our right needle and I'm going to work on the right side first and I'm going through the next three 8 o seed beads and pull. Now I'm going to pick up one 8 o and I'm going through the next four 8 o's and pull. And now I'm going through the next 11 O and pull. And I'm going through the top hole of the next super duo, like this. Now we're going to pick up one super duo and go through the next top hole of the next super duo and pull. Now we're going through the next 11 o and pull and we're going through the 8 o like this and pull. And now we're going through the next three 8 o seed beads and pull. Now I'm going to show you this one more time flat. I'm going to pick up one 8 o and I'm going through the next four 8 millimeter or sorry 8 o seed beads. Like this, and then I'm going through the next 11 o and pull, and then I'm going through the next top hole of the next super duo and pull. And then I'm picking up one super duo and I'm going through the next top hole of the next super duo and then I'm going through the next 11 o Like this and pull 
And then I'm going through the next 8 OC piet. And I'm going through the next 3 8 OC beats. And then I'm ready to start this round again. You're going to do this until you are all the way at the other end. Then what you're going to do, you're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So you're just going to go through the next 3 8 OC beats. You're going to add 1 8 OC beat. You're going through the next 4 8 OC beats. Then you're going through the 11 O. You're going to go through the first top hole of the first super duo. And you're going to add one super duo. You're going through the next top hole of the next super duo. And then you're going through the 11 O. Through the middle 8 O. And through the next 3 8 O's. And then you're going to start your round again. Okay, now I came to the end of my bracelet and I did my two sides. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up my right needle and I'm going through the top loop again. So I went with both my needles through the middle 8 O to end the row. And now I'm going to reinforce the loop. And I'm ending in that 8 O again. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And also I'm ending in the 8 o Like this. Now I'm going to take my right needle and again I'm going through the next 8 O's. So all the 8 O's. In the middle 8 O. And pull. And then I'm coming up through the 11 O. Like this, and pull, and then I'm going to leave my thread there. Then I'm going to pick up my other needle. Sorry for the noise, that's the dogs of my neighbor. And then, oh sorry. And then I'm going, like I did on the other side, through all the eight O's. And through the next 11 ohm. Like this. And pull. No. Oh. Don't know what went wrong now. Like this. Then I'm going to lay my work flat. And I'm going to take my both needles. And I'm going to pick up one 11 of seed bead on both needles. Like this. Slide them down. Now I'm going to pick up one 4 millimeter on one needle. And I'm going through it with the other needle in the same direction. So I'm going through and now you can see I have both needles in the same bead. So the needles are facing the same way. And pull. And then on both needles I'm going to pick up two and then on both needles I'm going to pick up one seed bead and slide them down. And then I'm starting with my right. I'm going through 
the right seed bead with my right needle and through the middle 8 0 and pull like this and then I'm going through all the 8 0's and if I can in one time through the next 11 0 and leave your thread there then I'm going to pick up my left needle and I'm going through the left seed bead and through the middle 8 0 and pull and then I'm going through all the 8 0 seed beads And if I can in one time through the next 11 0 and pull. And now we've added our Swarovski in this way. Now we're at the same starting point as we were before, and I'm going to do this one more time again. So I'm going to take both needles and I'm going to pick up one 11 0 on both needles and slide them down. I'm going to pick up with one needle one 4mm bicon and I'm going to slide it down and with the other needle I'm going through the same bicon in the same direction so that your needles are facing the same way out of the bicon and pull and then on both needles again I'm going to pick up one 11 0 seed bead and slide them down then I'm going to start with my right needle with my right needle I'm going through my right seed bead and the middle 8 0 and pull and then I'm going through all the 8 0's And if I can in one time, I'm also going through the next 11 0 and pull. And then I'm picking up my left needle and I'm going through the 11 0 seed bead on the left side and through all the 8 0's. And if I can in one time, also the 11 0. And it will look like this. So now you're going to repeat this until you have added all of your Swarovskis. So I'm going to tell you again what I'm going to do or what you're going to do. On both needles, you're going to pick up one 11 0. Then you're going to pick up one bicon and you're going to go through it with both your needles at the same direction. Then you're going to pull it. You're going to pick up one 11 0 on each needle and then you're going to slide them down. With your right needle you go through the right seed bead, through the middle 8 0 and through all the 8 0 seed beads and through the next 11 0. And with your left needle you're going through the left 11 0, the middle 8 0 seed bead, all the 8 0 seed beads and the next 11 0 and then you're ready to start your next row. When you're done that I'm coming back. Now I added my last bicon and I'm ready to tie off my bracelet. I'm going to take my right needle and I'm going through the next three 8 0 seed beads. And I'm coming out of the middle 8 0 seed bead and pull. Now with my needle I'm going underneath the thread that is into the pearl and I'm going to tie a knot. And again I'm going underneath the thread that leads to the pearl and I'm going to tie a knot and pull. 
and then I'm going through the 8 0 beads again and through the next 11 0 and pull and now I'm going through the next bottom hole of the next two super duos so that's the super duos we added in the beginning of this bracelet and pull and then I'm going through the next 11 0 and the next 8 0 and pull and through a few 8 0's and I'm going to leave my thread here and now I'm going to do the same on the other side now you're going to add your loop and your clasp and you're done make sure that if you have, have a different uh, clasp that you uh, add it on the right side so that uh, if you made a bigger loop that you can uh, clasp it uh, to the loop I'm sorry if I sound a little different today I had a throat infection uh, a whole week and um, I'm not yet fully recovered so sorry if I sound a little bit squeaky um, especially at the end of this video um, next week we're going to make uh, this ring and uh, this ring uh, belongs with this design so we're going to make uh, a whole set of these and uh, for those who like to know uh, I made this bracelet uh, first and this is with uh, silver Duracoat um, galvanized seed beads because they last you longer uh, these are with the same AB crystal um, so, um, four millimeter bicones and the seed beads and uh, the super duos I used are in Irish blue so if you want to recreate this this is uh, silver uh, AB bicones and Irish blue uh, super duos and seed beads so I hope you like this project and uh, I hope you uh, will um, take a look at the ring uh, we're going to make uh, next week and uh, I wish you a very nice day bye